speaking out like this is not an easy thing. And um, you're always, af at least if you think about it, uh, you're afraid of going too far. And then you got COVID again. Yeah, we did. That's kind of... <laughs> so that's one of the odd things about the taking the vaccine after you have natural immunity. Now we know cr increases your risk for adverse events, which is one of the reasons why we shouldn't be just willy-nilly vaccinating people. Yeah. Um, uh, we're not all alike in that way anymore. We don't have all the same risks. And uh, there, this growing awareness that there is T cell damage uh, from the vaccine, so that it may be that if you're naturally immune and you take the vaccine, you actually have a less effective immune response than you did before you took the vaccine. Yeah. Um, that's still kind of emerging. Uh, but I think there's a lot of merit that has to be looked at really, really rigorously. And there's, we're in a, this landscape where so much is anecdotal because um, the ability to do the work is suppressed. It's not funded. You can't publish it. And doctors are discouraged to report? Actively discouraged and actively discouraged to report. Yeah. And uh, just not just doctors, nurses, others in the hospital environment. Um, uh, uh, pathologists are strongly discouraged to perform autopsies. All the, all the classic stuff that we have had in our hospital system to ensure a safety and effectiveness and appropriateness of medical treatment has been suppressed, all in this blind rush to, um, with the logic that anything which would cause vaccine hesitancy is not allowed to Must be spoken. Must be avoided at all costs. Yeah. 